In the capital of Tbilisi, set in the heart of Georgia, we encountered the great legacy of its people, who have long protected their exquisite culture. My journey in Georgia ends with celebrating its biggest holiday, Easter. We will visit the festivals and observe the time-honored traditions of its people. The land of Georgia remains untamed. Passing Doha, Qatar, I arrive in Georgia, the land of the gods and humans. As Easter, Georgia's biggest holiday nears, the people of Tbilisi prepare for a sacred ritual. They gather in front of the cathedral, waiting for their turn to gather palm tree branches. Upon Jesus' return to Jerusalem, it is said that people welcomed him by carrying palm tree branches. To the Georgians, palm trees represent the hope of victory. Apart from palm tree branches, one can find colorful eggs and wheat spouts at this time of year. You have a baby? Uh, not yes. A... Okay. I have. Uh, I can't come too much, baby. Ah, you get egg, egg is in Yana now and then. So I egg in your way as you eat out and you have not sit there. During this time of year, even the smallest details are assigned a particular meaning. After palm branches are taken home and dried, they are burned the following Easter. Burning the branches is believed to symbolize the death of all misfortunes. This is the Tbilisi Sameba Cathedral, founded in 2004. Its construction was completed on the 1,500th anniversary of the independence of the Georgian Orthodox Church. With the cathedral swarming with so many people, it's tough to move about. This structure is known for its vaulted dome ceilings in the traditional style of Georgian architecture. A week before Easter Sunday, Holy Week begins. In remembrance of this week, the Archbishop presents a gift to important members of the community. Georgians come here to pray today they refrain from alcohol and meat consumption until Easter. On Resurrection Day, after praying from midnight to dawn, they end their fast, signifying the end of Lent. <laughs> Georgia, one of the very first Christian nations, mainly consists of Georgian Orthodox believers. Uh, 
Kiev și sunt la eu că... Da. De asta Asta a da. There are many anonymous benefactors at Sameba Cathedral, the main symbol of Easter. Three hours northwest of Tbilisi lie the snowy peaks of the Caucasus Mountains, visible from a distance. I am on my way to a wondrous place to experience the presence of God. On top of the giant limestone pillar is a monastery. As hard as it is to believe, the Kotsky Monastery was built in the 5th century. There are two sites on top of this 40 meter pillar. Monks carry out their duties there even now. I meet the monk in charge. He ushers me to a small museum located below the pillar. This ancient prayer was discovered here. No one knows when it was written, nor for whom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to the Georgian chronicles, Farnavaz the Great of Iberia created the Georgian alphabet in 284 BCE. There is only one way to the top, climbing up this ladder that leans against a rugged cliff. But during Holy Week, the monastery is closed to the public as ordered by the Archbishop of the Georgian Orthodox Church. The entrance is locked shut. I'm sobered by the knowledge that the monks have utterly isolated themselves from the outside world, trying to reach God. As their time of constant prayer cannot be disturbed, I let go of my disappointment and look ahead. From Kotsky, the pillar of faith, we head towards Zugdidi, a city of displaced people. Bordering Abkhazia, Zugdidi is a self-governing city once placed under Russian jurisdiction. After a one-year war in 1992, Georgians from Abkhazia were not able to return home. Guli left his home in Abkhazia a few years ago and came to Georgia. He hasn't been able to return home since then. This line is what is left of Georgia's entrance into Abkhazia. Uh -huh. 
Κοσφαιρασία και αυτάζει. Κοσφαιρασία είναι στα ίδια. Τι είναι πάσπα νέα, τι είναι στα ίδια. Τι είναι πάσπα νέα, τι είναι στα ίδια. Τι είναι πάσπα νέα, τι είναι στα ίδια. Τι είναι στα ίδια. Τι είναι In order to pass through, both Abkhazian and Georgian passports are required. We're heading to the area where one can get the closest view of Abkhazian soil. This is Inguri River, which tells a tragic tale of history. During the war in Abkhazia, both sides were said to have fought a close battle near the river. Many civilians crossed the Inguri River to seek refuge. I see Abkhazian people from afar. So, this is now Georgia and Abkhazia. This is not a part of the country. If you go to the other side, you will be able to keep the Russian army. I hope that he can cross the border and get home someday. This is an apartment that houses Abkhazian refugees. Easter, the Georgians' biggest holiday, is just a few days away, but the air is filled with silence. They must enjoy having company over. I meet Abkhazian refugee Arbelodi, who came here alone without his family. Six families live together in this old apartment. In the hope that they'll return home, they didn't buy any furniture or household items. It's already been 20 years. <laughs> Arbelodi says that his memories of the last Easter he spent with his family are now hazy. As it turns out, Korea isn't the only divided nation of suffering. Leaving the sorrows of Zugdidi behind, we're now heading to Chok Hatari, a city brimming with festivals. Although Chokhatari is a small town with a population of 2,000, it hosts the largest Easter festival in Georgia. The market is bustling with people preparing for the holiday. I decided to explore the market. This red powder immediately catches my eye. This natural dye is called endro. The red represents the blood of Jesus.
savory aromas fill the Georgian marketplace. Homemade traditional breads make their way into the market around this time of year. Georgians put their hearts into making bread as a way of expressing their faith to God. One will find that they are a humble people of peace and quiet. At the entrance to a cemetery outside of town is a monument that marks the onset of festivities. Shaped like a hand holding a ball, it represents the game of Lilo. The Turkish invasion of the 14th century was halted here in Chokhatori. Georgians have celebrated this triumph by playing Lilo here every year. The ball is awarded to the winning team, but it always ends up in the cemetery. The game of Lilo is supervised by the local village church. The Lilo ball is made the day before Easter. Following tradition, they stitch the ball entirely by hand. This year, they invited a master craftsman from another region to do the work. Only one ball is made each year. The Easter festival in this area has drawn global attention as of late. A famous foreign broadcasting station flew here to cover the festival. In France, uh, rugby is very famous, mm. and Lelo is like old rugby, so mm -hmm. in France you don't play this old game anymore, but before mm -hmm. people used to play something like Lelo in France, mm -hmm. so it's, I think it's interesting to see how mm. people play it here and how uh, cultural and social event for the village and mm. it gives a good image of Georgia. A family invited me in to spend Easter with them. The little boy is timid around strangers. But knowing that Georgians are bright and cheerful, I have a feeling that we'll get acquainted very fast. This lady is making paska, a cake eaten at Easter. She adds raisins and jelly to the dough. I'll try my hand at making paska. The fermented dough softly tickles my hands. Once the cake is finished, it is taken to church to receive blessings. Apart from Georgia, other countries of the Eastern Orthodox Church like Russia and Bulgaria make Pashka. Finally, it's time to boil the eggs. 
Kraska, Kraska. Kraska, 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 Palm tree leaves are attached to the eggs, which are dyed red with endro dye. For the Georgians, meticulous preparation of their Easter eggs is an avenue for their growing spiritual faith. The bundle of wheat sprouts burst with the freshness of new life. The Pashka is finally ready. The higher the bread rises, the clearer the indication it's of good quality. In order to have the dough rise higher, Jacob's wife uses empty cans. I think that's well-made pashka. Pashka means Easter in Greek. But what's more important than its origins is the devotion these people put into making them. <laughs> when the bread cools, it is decorated with syrup and sugar. It is also tradition to share Pashka with neighbors. I am this family's neighbor for today. The time to celebrate Easter with red eggs and to enjoy a banquet is fast approaching. This kind of dinner is normally prepared to celebrate the end of Easter. However, this family was gracious enough to prepare it a day early for me. A day goes by, Easter Sunday greeting us the next morning. The game of Lilo, Georgia's biggest Easter festival, begins. The people of the town gather and drink wine from the newly made ball. Anyone can drink this wine, and those who drink it are said to have good luck. Ja, ich, 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 ich,
Ever since Lilo has been played, the weight of the ball has always been 18 kilograms. They fill the ball with wine and soil. The ball has to be firm and heavy for it to last a whole game. <laughs> it looks quite heavy. They weigh the ball to make sure it's 18 kilograms. After making another toast, the villagers fill the ball with wine for the last time. There's no limit to how many can participate in the game. Out of two villages, the village that takes the ball to their neighborhood simply wins. The priest takes the ball and walks to the center of town. This time is spent just passing the ball around. According to legend, people who touch the ball during the game receive good luck. My impressions is that I really like it because it's lovely, you know, people feel it, you know, you feel the, the, the fight who is coming, you know, and all this good wine, all these good toasters, all these strangers who are appreciating that, that's very beautiful, you know. Many more people gather towards the center of the town. The game hasn't even started, but people are already eager to occupy the ball. the priest finally throws it into the air. The full rugby game of Lilo has officially begun. The chairs of the crowd are as rowdy as the game. They'll stand wherever if it means they can get a good view of the game. Thousands of people roam around and rush towards the ball. In the midst of it all, our competition and forgiveness. Perhaps that's why they haven't been any big injuries up to this point. Many players are overcome with exhaustion. The game nears its end. The lower village wins if they cross that bridge.
and they put a stop to the Upper Village's winning streak. Here's a brief moment when the winners celebrate and the defeated are comforted. This ball now belongs to the lower village. Lilo is much like old style rugby and has been passed down for generations. Every Easter, two villages compete for one ball. Like the year before, the winners bring the ball to the cemetery. They dedicate this ball to their ancestors. On a special occasion like today, the people enjoy wine out of Kansis. All the wine in the horn is drunk at once. This is the essence of the country of Georgia. A place they call the land of the gods. A place that has withstood countless invasions. This is Georgia, where people have protected their land, faith, and traditions with great fervor. While staying here, I discovered an undying passion for this country.